So my name's Rex Milligan. Um, I'm from Food Bank WA, actually, and um, I would love to spend 15 minutes uh, uh, adding my comments to the previous two speakers, but I am speaking tomorrow, so I might be able to do that uh, a little bit in, in conjunction with the presentation I've planned. But, and so I won't be able to ask, answer questions today about Christina's um, um, presentation, but I have known Christina for um, about 20 years and um, worked with her on projects. And um, I do have a general sense of the WA experience, so I might be able to help in that respect. Um, this project is part of the broader, and excuse me, but I am have, going to have to read this because I only just found out I was going to um, be presenting it. Um, this project is part of the broader healthway funded food law policy and communications to improve public health project. And Christina is the um, chief investigator. Now, do I press that one? Right. Many people in this room will appreciate uh, this diagram um, where it shows food security in its many dimensions. Um, there's been a fair bit of talk about food access today, but um, this also shows the food supply. Uh, in general terms, it's, uh, food security is determined by people's uh, local food supply and their capacity and resources to access and use that food. Food supply and food access are therefore the two main points of potential intervention for policy in relation to improving food security, and each is, has, is an addressed in this project. Well, Get there. Um, the Food Security Policy Delphi project aims to improve food security in West Australia by uh, three points, uh, refining and prioritising opinions from key stakeholders about proposed food security actions, um, also testing the feasibility and acceptability of a range of options, uh, particularly for West Australia, and three, making policy recommendations as a way forward in WA. The research employs a Delphi process, which is a unique method of facilitating communication and gathering information, including opinions, on an often complex topic or issue such as food security. Um, this figure shows the four main stages of the Delphi pro process. One is expansion, two is the initial ranking, three is exploring disagreement, and four the final evaluation. Each of these stages um, is all, it's referred to as a Delphi Rounds and, and it can be repeated multiple times until your purpose is achieved. Um, and you can do it using a range of techniques as well. The Delphi techniques employed so far um, have included several information collection and expansion rounds. Um, there was a face-to-face -face workshop held in February 2002 and the key experts presented options and facilitated discussions with 60 participants and they expanded their ideas and collected further information. Uh, the workshop commenced dialogues between policymakers, industry and academics across the food system and it started to identify strategies to promote food security in West Australia. The Way Forward workshop uh, the report summarised findings and made recommendations and then was distributed to the workshop participants and key experts. Following on from the workshop, a small expert panel developed four electronic surveys to further explore relevant issues. Uh, the surveys are conducted using Qual Qualtrics online survey software and each survey covers a specific topic. So they're setting the food security agenda food system transport efficiencies, food accessibility, and food security research and evidence. Survey participants include workshop attendees and additional recommended experts. Following each survey, a small panel review is undertaken to interpret the findings and provide further recommendations. And each participant receives a, a report of top line results um, from the survey. And finally then, there's a report and peer-reviewed publications outlining the project findings and they're prepared and disseminated to participants and to the relevant policy decision makers. Uh, 
These are the results from the first two rounds of the Delphi survey. The sample size was 89, which in Delphi survey terms is quite high, and, um, and all workshop participants and additional experts were um, invited. The survey participation right, uh, rate was 65%, and of these, um, another 65% were the um, food security workshop participants. As the table shows, 13 sectors were represented in the survey, so it was a good cross-section. Um, almost half were academics, and approximately a quarter were from the health, food, and agricultural and government sectors. The workshop definition of food security was, uh, well, you can see it up there, I'm not going to um, read it all out. Um, I think. Personally, I think one of the things that um, Bob mentioned was is lacking is the culturally appropriate. But um, that was um, the food security definition that was agreed and it had, had an 85% agreement. Participants were asked about the importance of three priority food security actions, uh, namely agree and map these actions um, identify, expand and develop the food security workforce and establish formal and strategic food security partnerships. The numbers in brackets um, after each strategic action indicate the proportion of respondents who rank the action as quite important or very important. And there was 90% agreement um, for these uh, priority strategic actions. Participants then ranked four overarching strategic actions to build, support and manage the infrastructure to address food security in WA. The strategic actions were to provide a health and agricultural workforce, provide a map food security indicators and interventions, establish cross-sector collaboration and build a shared understanding of the impact of organisational cultures on taking food security actions. These four strategic act actions were then ranked in terms of effectiveness, equity and feasibility of food security actions, where one was low and five was high. The researchers defined an arbitrary agreement level to be regarded as consensus at, at a mean score of above three. And consensus was reached for all four priority actions. And the strongest consensus was for establishing cross-sector collaboration. Yep. The second survey focused on specific options to improve transport efficiencies that were identified at the workshop. And if you've been, um, if you know anything about WA, uh, transport is probably one of the biggest issues in terms of um, food supply and certainly one of the biggest issues food bank faces there. Again, sample included all workshop participants and additional recommended experts. Response rate was 31%. Lower response rate was anticipated for the survey too, uh, given that the specific focus on transport issues um, compared, to, compared to the broader strategic directions that were under review in survey one. The majority of respondents, 88%, ranked identifying op options to improve food transport efficiencies in WA for food security as quite important or very important. Participants were then asked to rank 12 options to improve transport efficiencies and the same criteria was used with the consensus uh, a mean score above three. Uh, and that was reached for all, three, uh, for all three criteria for 11 of the options. For the option relating to applying freight subsidies, consensus was reached for effectiveness and equity, but the mean ranking for feasibility was 2.9. Okay, to the conclusions. 
uh, and I think I'm running a bit ahead of time. Um, overall, there was general consensus among respondents for s of surveys one and two for the issues presented. These results are even more significant when considering the number of sectors involved in this project and the diversity of their agendas. The project outcomes to date pave the way for some promising policy recommendations to address food security in Western Australia in the future. A, co a cooperative, collaborative approach across sectors to addressing food security issues is required at all levels. It is timely to, con to commence a strategic dialogue. Um, the difficulty has been uh, in identifying pol policy options for the third Delphi on accessibility to food. If people have any ideas, um, Christina would love to hear from them and um, I can let you know how to contact her if, if you want to do that. So thank you very much.